Welcome, Gemini, to my channel. It's the Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing a, a reading for you. Um, the date is the 14th. And um, yeah, well, I'll be looking into your current situation. Uh, someone that is showing up in your reading. Uh, love a reading, but uh, well, you decide. <laughs> I don't have a specific agenda. Well, Gemini, it is the 14th t t today, and we are in Aries season. I hope you're doing amazing, by the way. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel and uh, yeah, viewing, liking, commenting, <laughs> all the good stuff. I'm using the Rider weight Giant deck. It is tricky to shuffle, but I will just give an extra shuffle after meditating and uh, pre-shuffling your cards as well. I always advise as well to check out um, Maybe your moon sign or any other signs in your chart, really, to see um, if you pick up other messages. Because uh, usually uh, there is a the sim little bit similar messages when the readings, uh, they are done at the same time. Um, because it's also about the period. <laughs> That's what I find, at least. Okay. <clears throat> the cards have a lot to say. I can feel there's something heavy, heavy in them. <laughs> I feel like they are twice the weight suddenly. Okay. Gemini, something is about to come to light here. I s in the corner of my eye, I'll do it again. <laughs> I see the judgment. Okay, this is like uh, an awakening. This is, uh, you are going to see who's holding on to you. Um, I, I see that in the, well, it's your, you have changed your energy, uh, Gemini as well. So you might have recently started a new job or you received the promotion. You have hit a milestone and after hitting the milestone, you feel like a little bit of weight is off your shoulders and you are enjoying that period. Um, someone with Aries uh, in their chart could be uh, showing up to the in today's reading um this person is someone that well if it's the same person we'll find out but there is also soulmate in your energy uh, you also see this person as your soulmate there is mutual feelings uh for this person uh it can be a new person as well and this is someone else uh, this person can have also uh, water elements in their chart. I'm also picking up someone that, okay, so it's possible here, Gemini, that you have either moved into a new job or their success when it comes to your finances as well, and you're meeting new people. A person that is showing up in your feelings is someone that have caught your eye, caught your interest. Now, a person, another person here that possibly left you because of a third party or there was an ending, this person here is in your energy. Now, they find you very, very attractive, but they could have moved forward with an Aries. Um, now, this person have never really left your energy, but this is someone that can give to two people. And, um, well, you might have stepped away from this person, but now they are showing up in your reading. I'll continue to clarify. So this person that is one foot in, one foot out, or you know, two steps back, two steps forward, this type of energy, this person here, I feel that now when they see you move on, move forward and detached uh, from them emotionally, exploring other options in your life and enjoying that as well, isn't it very typical that this person would like to resurface, right? That's often how it works. Um, so in their environment, there is some kind of hushness. Um, they are not finding the love and support. Uh, and maybe they didn't think they wanted love and support. This person could be all about winning at all cost. Now, this person wants to win you back at all cost. This is someone that have not really made any forward movement or maybe they haven't been in touch with you even or maybe they're just someone in your energy but they are sort of doing their thing. Um, so I'm picking up this person suddenly, like now they want to have success with you. Now they want to make it known to you that they want to move forward. Um, yeah, see, they have passed 
for the longest time. This person is someone that could have played the field, as we say, and it actually just caused them grief and burdens. It was not how they planned. They thought maybe this kind of uh, prioritizing um, options or not prioritizing one connection was going to be uh, leaving them in this kind of free feeling. <laughs> but uh, I don't think so. It is possible as well that this person is the same person that is showing up in your energy, that you have a strong soulmate tied to, especially if this person have also water elements in their chart. They are young, maybe quite immature. Yeah, I'm picking up someone that have, you know, they're in this life, uh, face that uh, they have not taken responsibilities when it comes to love they're trying to just run away from the responsibilities not owning up to their feelings very immature very childish as well uh, not understanding why they you know what they do why they do what why they do basically I'm seeing here as well so they're feeling this remorse this regret yeah mm, they are not very happy this person um, they could have lost uh, a lot as well see they betrayed you, they moved away, they ghosted you possibly as well. Um, and whatever they did, it sabotaged the connection. You might have Leo in your chart, so this might be a reading for you. This person might have cancer in their chart. This person, what they did just caused, like moving away from you, it caused a heartache involving third party, perhaps could have moved forward with an Aries, um, taken a leap of faith, but this Aries caused them burdens. They regret it. This could be a cancer. It's like, oh no, why am I with this person? I, I don't want to be with this person. Yada, yada, yada. This person is sort of, <laughs> uh, they made their bed and they have to lay in it. They don't, they don't want to lay in it anymore. So they are getting this idea now that, well, Gemini is always the person that I've loved. I want to move forward. I want to make it known to Gemini that I want to fight for this connection, but I don't see this person is not yet. So it's possible here that this, yeah, well, this is a soulmate connection, but this person is not coming to you with their right mind. This person is chaotic as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm seeing someone that is kind of, you thought like you are open-minded, easygoing. So you how, when you met this person, it was like everything was going with the flow. There was no pressure from your side. But you kind of assume that this common sense uh, is, applies to everyone. But you realize that it does not apply to everyone. And someone showed you how, how immature they were. It doesn't stop you from feeling that this is a soulmate because bad behaviors don't really make, uh, make and break that. But this person, again, yeah, well, they are going to show up in your energy, uh, Gemini. In your current environment, is definitely a boost in your finances. You have success. Um, yeah, Ace of Pentacles is great. There's a new opportunity, promotion. You're enjoying it. And uh, it's giving you satisfaction and wish fulfillment. Now, yeah, you also, uh, you could be creative, but you are inspired. You... You are excited about an opportunity. This is your priority at the moment. But okay, okay. So, Gemini, there is a unified love, partnership, mutual attraction. So many of you, there could be a going towards a marriage and a really, really strong connection. Now, you are sort of being cutthroat. You are ambitious. You will pass the judgment and you will communicate with a clear mind at this time. Um you will uh, be the one that wear the trousers I'm picking up, okay? You know what a soulmate connection looks like uh, in terms of you uh, pursuing, wanting to pursue someone. So your intention is to strengthen a soulmate connection that you feel is the right connection for you, uh, Gemini. I, I definitely see that. You, you don't really care what other people say. Uh, you are, you want to heal this connection. You are following your intuition. But see, there is someone here that you have to kind of decide, can I, can I handle this person? Can this person um, give me what I need as well? Okay. Uh, because we have the devil in reverse. So it is releasing... There's something about releasing heartache, releasing third party as well. There's something complicated here. This has to do with, can you release uh, perhaps infidelity and in that this person hurt you in the past? Can you release that? Is it possible to start over? Uh, let me add some cards here. So 
um, it's, it has to do with you following your intuition. What's the benefits of this connection? Uh, this could also be anything you hear about this person as well. Uh, Gemini. Mm. You're going to hear something about this person. And you have healed from someone as well. Okay, I do feel for many of you, this is going to be quite a predicament because someone will initiate that they are now changing, that they are uh, only going towards you and that they have thrown away their options and that this person is a changed person, okay? Um, I see that... Mm, because can this be successful? This will be only successful if you are fine with the confusion that this person will come with. Uh, and of course, no one is fine with confusion. There is something about this person that you will never find out as well. Uh, they keep secrets. They are quite blurry. It's also saying that, okay, it's, is it like, do you need to know everything about them as well? You know, do you need to, it's something about, you have to be quite open-minded to deal with this person. Depends what you, the, the type of relationship is. I see this is a very unconventional um, relationship. This is not me giving you advice what to do, by the way, uh, only reading messages. So there's a definitely unfinished business uh, in this connection and um, someone will speak up or there's going to be demonstrating uh, their feelings as well but I do see uh, Gemini you you are not moving into a relationship I feel with this person but you are rather exploring uh, you know what what was the reason that you attracted this person what was the reason that you uh, you have love for this person as well. So you are looking at it from a different perspective and you're able to do that because you have healed from this connection. You're not really taking uh, this person's you know, ways seriously. This is someone that is quite immature. But they are coming in to offer you their relationship, but they do also know this person here, they given, you give, if they have earth in their chance, you're giving them a chance once and you are saying no. That, well, the setup that we discussed the first time around is not an offer. OK, but this person could keep coming back and apologize. They could, you know, keep saying, keep showing you that they are here to stay. They regret it. They feel very sorry for themselves. OK, so you will feel good about this person showing you that Gemini. That's that's for sure. You will feel happy that this person wants to, you know, come out reverse here with a five of pentacles, come out of the cold. Uh, you you will it's i see that you have the possibility to enjoy this person and interaction with them and you are not seeing them for who they are you're seeing this person someone very immature they could have come across as all they know it all but now now you see this person as <laughs> it's like you take them for what they are in a way so this could be a playful time this could be for a good time not a long time and you see this person in a different light and that's also going to, you know, there's something about this person that they need to take, get a taste of their own medicine here. Yeah. And they will like get this, it's their turn to feel the break, the heartache. You have turned away from this person, but yet you are facing them at the same time, you are confident, you are looking them right in the eyes and you are saying, well, what, what is it that you have? Do you want to show that to me? So go ahead. <laughs> so it's kind of, I see it as also a playful connection, but this person will see that you are not really messing around or you are not really taking them seriously either, but you, you neither are you showing them a hard time. But you will be showing your power. You'll be showing, I mean, your power in terms of your growth. So you could kind of laugh a little bit to yourself because you you know that this person feel intimidated because you might have held back on your, you know, what you have. Uh, it's like you try to keep this neutral uh, way about you, but you are not being neutral. You are just living your best life. You are uh, also flaunting what you have. You are not trying to spare anyone. 
you are not trying to tiptoe around anyone you're not trying to uh you know you don't let anyone's victim mentality get to you you're just being uh, like yourself you are like it's very much um uh, obvious here gemini that you are in a strong position financially you are strong in your mind you are chaired uh, on by many you have options you are not even trying to hide that you have options so i see someone here is like okay they're really seeing who you are and what they have to do i don't see the stopping anyone here okay but it's actually they need to see that they need to see that uh it's something they need to see so they can either take it as a way of saying oh wow that they will actually cheer you on as well and they will probably say oh wow now I, you know there's almost like they have an opportunity here to be self-aware and also an opportunity to see okay you know what i was so lucky uh, to have an opportunity with gemini i can learn from them i do love gemini i'm not going to hold back my love because i feel intimidated so you will find out if this person there's hope <laughs> that this person will sort of um, show maturity or if they have just you know there there's a stagnation and like you and this person do not see eye to eye at all yeah because you are not holding back at all uh about your success about what you have going uh on here as well uh you are going very fast 100 miles an hour and if they can't keep up well then they can't keep up there's that sort of attitude and you feel light-hearted you're having fun as well uh you you have a, a quite an intuitive grasp on this person um i do see this person is like um i mean this person they want this to move forward they want uh this uh loving joyful relationship uh, even if there's an age difference, uh, I see that you also have a lot in common. Uh, you might have cancer in your chart, Gemini. Yeah, so <laughs> this person moved forward with a third party. Either they moved back to an ex or they just moved forward with someone that seemed like a good option. You, again, you will hear from them that they definitely made a mistake uh it was not what what they thought they are left now with a bit of um like stress from that person they wanted to have fun but it's actually turned sour that's what i'm picking up yeah they wanted to have a little bit of fun turn very sour they are realizing that with you you are the one with the fun and never gave them any restrictions it was all love and Kind of harmony but they still betrayed you so this person is going to they have received or receiving karma they're seeing the truth that no they're not everyone is like you actually none are like you now they have this they have someone behind them that is uh pestering them because they wanted to play the field they are caught up in this uh, very uncomfortable this person could have got on with someone at their work situation and now now they can't shake off the person that it's like they're they're with someone or there's someone they're moving away from that is just causing them a lot of headache but they kind of deserve it because they did move towards this person without thinking about the consequences so you are sort of uh observing it maybe even hearing them out but you are telling them to you know sort themselves out <laughs> whilst laughing at them at the same time i see you in a very good spirit and good energy you are you have you were at one point hurt by this person you thought that how can this person do that to me everything that i showed this person like i given them uh, you know open the door to my home or i open the door to my heart and this person go and do that but no definitely this person is uh going through a hardship because of that yeah with the three of swords this person is uh definitely learning the hard way uh i'm picking up and now they could be dealing with someone they really cannot get off their back at all it's just something that is turned quite sour what what is this okay for the person that uh gemini is dealing with okay yeah like the devil keeps coming up in reverse or so someone with dark 
thoughts. They could have taken on someone that is like very difficult to deal with, like really, really difficult, really difficult. And you might have warned them or this person didn't look at it. They didn't look at the consequences and now they're finding out. Okay, um, yeah, they're finding out. This actually have given this opportunity, person an opportunity to grow and evolve. Yeah, <laughs> realizing they rather be single than in the wrong relationship as well. This person had to, it's something about also not taking an opportunity with you, which this opportunity actually wasn't, didn't come with any pressure. Suddenly they signed up for, like a situation like it's burden like a lot of burden they could be dealing with an aries or you're dealing with an aries or leo there's an aries leo here like they signed up for something that's really stressful so someone that wanted to play to feel have fun and like that was all good intention they ended up in the situation that is uh, difficult to maneuver and get out of now their wish fulfillment is to overcome this dark night of the soul that is, uh, you know, they Sagittarius here as well. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Leo. Um, yeah, Aries, sorry. Like they had to, they, they really had to experience another person, another situation to know that you were right about, you know, everything as well. Yeah, they've experienced a difficult situation around them, like difficult people, um, like all they wanted to was to have fun, I'm seeing, <laughs> and suddenly they got like this baggage, like really difficult situations, like complicated, okay, so they are coming towards you with, with their tail between their legs, they will be telling you about uh, what happened and, and so on and so on, but they, yeah, they are going to tell you the truth, it's not that, but yeah, this person is almost like you don't want to be with this person now because they have all this baggage they got themselves into, I don't know what it can be, but it's kind of a lot, but I, I see this person is um, dealing with it, um, yeah, but um, it can be, I don't know what, if they signed something, uh, if they got into some debts, I don't know. It's something that they have committed to that is proven to be really, really tricky to get out of. But it is possible to get out of it. But now they have to grow up as well. Like they have to act maturely, which is kind of a... Someone cannot live the same lifestyle as they used to because of the situation they're in at the moment. And they had the opportunity to live that lifestyle they wanted with you, but still this person, they did something very foolish. So yeah, but yeah, this person is a soulmate, um, picking up a strong tie. Uh, you cannot really forget about each other. It's something about like what you've experienced, how you opened up to each other, this connection at some point definitely was very sweet and loving as well. Those memories you share, I don't really see. You can, maybe you know known this person for a very long time as well. Yeah, you have healed as well from this person. So you might not see this person the same way. Uh, perhaps you feel like, well, now it's too little, too late. They're coming towards you. Um, and, and that could be an issue as well. You are focusing on your self-worth uh, and self-appreciation. Hence why you are also, you know, you, you, you are very independent at this time. You are a bit careful, quite careful, who you enter into any uh, negotiations or union with. So for like... You might have fallen, you know, head head first with this person at first, but now you actually say, "Well, I have a lot to offer. I have a high price and a high value, and I know my worth. So therefore, see self worth. I am not just going to dive in because of this person now is back uh, in my way. But uh, do check uh, out other signs in your chart as well, Gemini. So uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and uh, yeah, leave a comment. I will see you very soon. Take care.